my CD collection it's all over the map it's just and that you know it it, it shows I guess because I just kind of get inspiration from all types of, of different stuff I really like to say a lot of the local musicians that I met have really truly inspired me along the way um, like Rob Lamoth and uh, um, the girls from the Ladybird Sideshow which is my side project so that's um, Janine Stoll and Lisa Wynn and Aaron Smith um, and Luke Doucette, um, Ali Bartlett, Harmony Trowbridge, um, just a lot of the, the local artists. And um, what makes them so special is just actually being able to know them as people as well and um, being familiar with their music and their art and um, how that goes along with their personality. It's, it's really inspiring. And, you know, I'll hang out with them and hear them play, and then I'll just want to go home and write. Well, my parents listened to um, a lot of Gordon Lightfoot, Dire Straits. Um, what else? I listened to um, the Beautiful South. I was into when I was when I was young. Um, that's probably one of my major influences because I I can see their style popping up in my songs every once in a while and. I listened to them when I was really young, so Neil Young is a big one. That was more when I was younger. Liz Fair, Patty Griffin is a big one. Steve Earle I've been into a lot lately. I was independent for a really long time um, and working really hard at it with other people also um, um, and traveling and touring and recording and doing everything. Um, but at the same time, I was looking for a company to join up with. Um, but I was wary of it, and you know, you do hear so many horror stories, and I wanted to be careful. And when Orange approached me, it, it seemed to be um, a really genuine and uh, a really good company. Um, but I took my time with it, and it was a slow process, um, signing the deal and all that. Um, but it's really a perfect fit, I think. 